everyday woman, 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 in every way, yeah, yeah, I'm living my life, 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 living day by day, yeah, yeah, are you in Welcome every Welcome to Every Way Woman. woman. There are some major changes happening in the talk show world. Live from Los Angeles, here's Every Way Woman. decisions that go into creating a talk show and the two of you had the decision of the cast mm -hmm. how did you make that choice it was easy the choice. women yeah in some, in some ways choice? it was really really easy um usually Yolanda and I knew sometimes within the first 10 seconds yes uh, first impression is everything first yes. impression is everything because we already knew what we wanted in the discussion leading up to okay the show what, what is it that you host? wanted we wanted women that, uh, women on the panel that were not celebrities mm -hmm. we wanted women that other women can relate to. Because originally yeah. it was real women, real stories, real issues, a show for women, about women, and by, by women. women. <laughs> Which everybody is using now. But exactly. you, you know what I think is so beautiful is that we are all real women, but every one of you is successful in their own Different. right. And I truly mm -hmm. find you inspiring, mm -hmm. even though I, I know the real stories, okay? <laughs> and it's still, you've, you've all taught me and, so and much. And that's really what it's about, we, to inspire other women. Mm -hmm. and, and, it, and to create a community for women where we could talk about real things. Yep, and you never know when you're casting. We did an open casting, uh, it was in um, Burbank mm -hmm. at a restaurant and we did a casting and here comes in Stacy Lewis. <laughs> oh, yeah. Miss Stacey. conservative, <laughs> turtleneck up to here in the, um, in the look. It was, I think it was like March. Right, yes, and, 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 and uh, dress all the way down, down, down here. Was she and, carrying her Bible? Yes, because I would not be surprised. I don't wear makeup, I haven't worn makeup in 20 years. Right, that yeah. was Stacy at the time. <laughs> and um, how far she have come since then mm -hmm. but you know we're going through the interview process and we we're asking these questions we realize she is the perfect mom that we're looking for <laughs> and she and then what we because we wanted women not to just be diverse culturally right and we also wanted to have them lead diverse lives mm -hmm. as well and um, I connected to Stacy right away um, I was in, um, going to be a mom soon and she was a mother working mom two kids she's a primary caregiver for her her children and for her husband yeah, devoted wife mm -hmm. yeah and it was funny because Stacy is never afraid to tell you who she is and I like that about her and that's why I related to her because yes. she comes in she's like you know what I'm a conservative and she doesn't make she doesn't apologize for, for who she is nope. as well and and there are several things that we looked for that all of you have that all of the co-hosts co have and one of them is that um, all of you move from here all of our co-hosts move from here mm -hmm. and that was important for us I remember when I first met Stacy me and her like just I hold her dear to my heart because first off I met her at her home we had a mm -hmm. rehearsal there but um, she was so open about uh, you know a certain topic that mm -hmm. was brought up which was molestation yes you know and uh, you know not knowing you know that it had happened to me too mm -hmm. you know or maybe maybe mm -hmm. knowing um, but mm -hmm. nobody really shared it it really worked as therapy and, right, yeah. and I looked at her as my therapist and, and all yeah. you guys and, and that's that's the whole point of the show I cannot cast we cannot cast women that other women can't relate to right. the only way our show is going to be successful is that all the women actually are willing to open up and share and their stories yes. and care about, about other women yes. as mm -hmm. well. All of you have a quality where you care about other people. Mm -hmm. And that was really important to us, not just about yourself, but about your community, about getting yeah. out but ladies, to the community. Don't get us wrong. We don't always get along. We have different opinions. Yeah, yeah. 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 women, of course. And we're we women. Have opinions <laughs> and, yes. you know. And but uh, going back to Jeslyn, let's talk mm -hmm. about Jeslyn. She is the most oh, humble boy. person I have ever met, <laughs> yeah, and she's are. the most giving and what? sometimes too giving, you know, and, and very to a humble. Fault. I'll admit that I, but, I give to a fault. And you know those things about Jeslyn, I love. She's really funny, and she is very giving. But I remember the first time I saw her on camera, and I remember the guys coming out and saying. Do not let her get away. <laughs> and I was like, I don't plan on to. <laughs> right, yeah. So that, that was really great. And just to know that 
she, she's there. Because we've had a lot of great women come and go, which is great. Yes. A lot of women have grown the show. We've had every uh, ethnic background. Right. And we but, have great speakers and we have great guests. Every way woman has evolved yes. for years. But we struggle in one category. We could not find the Latina that we needed. And it was, it, it was so funny because we're in Los Angeles. I'm like, oh my God, why can't I find this woman? Right. So one day I'm opening my email and I go, I know Gina, Gina, she's uh, Thank she you, has, Gina. Gina has sent me, she said, I got this woman for you. Her name is Anna. I said, okay. Mm -hmm. And I, I had other stuff going on. So I really wasn't paying attention. So this email comes and this big picture comes up with this Latina. And I said, I emailed her back. I said, are you auditioning for the show? I forgot why she was coming on the show. And she was so perfect. And I remember when she came in for the audition and I was like, I'm just going to tell you what I'm to so say. Right. I'm going to tell you what to do because you already got the part. <laughs> right. And but what we what we really love about Anna is that um, you don't represent a stereotype. Exactly. And that's kind of what what was a little frustrating for Yolanda and I is getting away from the stereotype. We aren't stereotypes. You know, we, all all of you, you're not stereotypes. And I, I can relate to Anna because she's this Latina woman. She has her own business. Mm -hmm and you don't have any kids, and that is breaking so many rules. Yes. You're yeah, breaking the Latino community. Yeah. You're, mm -hmm. why don't Absolutely. You have kids? You're breaking all the rules, but that was perfect for us. She's a trailblazer. She yeah, is a trailblazer. And she's inspiring, and we're looking for love that's together. Why, yes. <laughs> yes. yes. That's why we have our different women, different opinions, and we always have great, great conversations. Great conversation. That's right. That's so. right. Thank you, the You're two of you, for you. including us thank in you. the show. More Every Way Woman when we return. <laughs> Coming up next, more Everyway Woman. Are you an Everyway Woman? Everyway Women are concerned about real health issues and topics. Stay tuned as we get real about our health. We're back with every woman and real women may do it all, but they are not invincible. Healthcare is so important to every woman. It is really important. It's very important that we create segments that's going to give women as, and men as much information as possible. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I feel like on talk shows, they, it has, I think they glamorize illness. Yes, they do. They kind of make it, uh, they do it. They glamorize it. They make it like, wow, this next cure, this next thing where it's really, when it happens to you and your health is down, it, that's not how it well, is. Well, and the healthcare shouldn't be treated as something trendy. Yes. It and that's what it seriously. has turned into. And we, as um, patients, we go into, the, we already go into the unknown. And we really don't know what's going to happen. So we're trying to give uh, or create segments where people know what questions to ask now. Mm -hmm. Because I know when my husband goes to the doctor, I make the appointment, I tell the nurse or the uh, secretary on the uh, other line, check him for this, 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 and this. Because well, he's not, he's going to remember. Well, it, because we all, let's not lie, we all mm -hmm. go on the internet and we self-diagnose. Yes, <laughs> we Google so, everything. Which is, I mean, it's a really bad habit of mine. I'm not going to lie. Well, here's the thing is that, the, you know, the, well, what is regulated on the internet, on search mm -hmm. engines, is very minuscule. So people can put things out there that say that they do things they don't actually do. It's not until it's on the label that the FDA is uh, regulated. Well, mm -hmm. and what's interesting is actually there are a lot of talk shows in the hot seat right now for endorsing these trends yes, and endorsing true. these yes, medications yes, and pharmaceuticals mm -hmm. without the proof. And, mm -hmm. you know, the viewers, the audience, the real women and men out there are trusting us. Yes. We want to be yes. able to give them the truth. I, yes. I found our segments really useful for me being single, somebody mm -hmm. that never really looked into going to the doctor when I was younger. Were you scared but, of that? No, I was just living my life. But now it's like yeah. everything, I feel like, oh, my God, my back hurts. What is it? Right. You know? and, sometimes, <laughs> and sometimes the truth isn't pretty. No. And sometimes the solution isn't easy. But my point was like going back to the segments that I watch, even when I'm on set, it's like, wow, that I didn't know that. And you're right. You and know, what I she said about that. the truth not being pretty, it wasn't pretty for me to be in my 30s to find out that I have menopause. It was a lot. I was like, what is going yeah. on? But it what was more you, disappointing with the doctors who mm. wouldn't admit it. And they say, oh no, you're too young. They didn't listen to you. <laughs> and you know listen. your body better than anyone. And exactly. Mm -hmm. And that's what a lot of people miss over, is that, that quite often they're already intuitively understanding what it is that they need mm -hmm. or what's going on. 
But that having that intuition doesn't always help because sometimes that intu intuition is scary. Well, and, and they don't want to know. And it's so great for me to be able to have you ladies to discuss that with. And I know maybe even for some of you as well, because when you talk to your grandmothers or your mothers, <laughs> they're not exactly always open with it. Yolanda has a really funny story I about I talked to this. my mom about, uh, and grandmother about menopause. I said, hey, you know, what time did you, you know, what age were you when you went into menopause? Oh, I don't remember. And my doctor told me to take tongues. Tongues. <laughs> and I'm like, really? yeah. tongues. I'm going to help. And I, it is from, from minorities, it's already a struggle for us to even talk about. Why? I don't know why. We hope, my mom knew she had a lump in her breast for at least two to four years before she said anything that turned out to be wow. breast cancer. Right. And it's so that's why, not uncommon. So why wouldn't she say something? Because God, God's will. Right. And, but also it's not uncommon because if you think about those generations going back, they just didn't talk about those mm -hmm. things. It was a no-no. Once it was said, it was solidified. Well, the Latinos are different. The Latinos, every, well, no, not Latinos. <laughs> my, in my family, they talk about, oh, my God, mi hija, me duele esto. And, like, they're always yeah. complaining. No, okay. 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 Yeah. Yeah. My mom this took hurts. me to school with the chicken pox and told me that it was mosquito bites in the middle of winter. No. <laughs> yeah, because she didn't want oh. to face that there was something wrong with us or that we were sick. And we had to be sent home by, you know, principal to go, uh, you can't send chicken. your kids to school with chicken box. You know what's Are interesting? You serious? Yes. Oh when, my God. when I was younger and still to this day, I try and just, you know, power through. And I think women do that a lot rather mm -hmm. than, you know, we listen to our bodies, but we're trained to tolerate so much pain, whether it's through our home, hormones That's or menstrual true. cycles. And That's we think, like, oh, it's just another mm -hmm. pain. I'll get through this. Oh, it's a headache. I'll get. And we don't yes. necessarily always listen to the signs that we mm -hmm. need to be listening to. And we need to listen to those signs. Those signals are coming clear because I, this is my thing. If you don't take care of it now, it's going to cost you more later. And that's the message that we'll keep trying to hammer home mm -hmm. here on every women. Preventative right. care. But not yes, just that. As, exactly. If, if you understand what's going on and you can relate that to someone in our audience and they're connecting to it, it might give them that opportunity to then connect and reach out, go go to the site or or, or go take a doctor's visit. And I'll Google. Watch your, right, yeah. so not watch, Google, your watch Google. Watch Google. <laughs> Google isn't always right. No, it isn't. I love Google, but well, and just because you have health insurance, you might not have health care. And it's really great to learn how to navigate that system and you know sort that through, especially with what our government's you know trying to figure out right now. Mm -hmm. Having and this forum to yeah. discuss it and getting important. real information, even if it's really scary. Take care of yourselves, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be right back. Stay with us for tomorrow's stars. Are you in every way woman? Every way women have hidden talents just like you do at home. Sometimes it's knowing how to fold the laundry and sometimes it's singing that high note, even if it's in the shower. Every Way Woman celebrates tomorrow's stars, but we have a few talents too. Anna, what are you keeping from us? I paint. Draw. You paint. I draw, paint. Well, that makes Big sense. Painting. <laughs> right, right. Well, but, you, you, but you can't, it, on women's faces, they're canvas. Yeah. So you paint it's, it's, women's faces. I love to blend. You're an artist. Mm -hmm. I'm an artist. You're a true artist. I also bake, though. Really? <laughs> yes. You bake? I had, I had a business that. Other than my other business, but when I first you started, mm -hmm. I, I used to bake. You know what your hidden talent is? You have a lot of business. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Every time I talk to you, like, oh, I do voiceover. I have this yeah. I do voiceovers. I do t shirts. <laughs> and all type of stuff. So uh, that's really cool. I love that you have all these hidden talents. Well, I, I speak French. That's one of my hidden talents. Oh, aren't you self taught? Um, well, I wouldn't exactly say self-taught, but it's always been a passion of mine. I think I was French in a past life, or you know, a, mm -hmm. wow. you know, person in a court okay. somewhere. But so I, it's always just been a part of me. What is the best way to learn French? Because I've been trying to learn French. The best way to learn French is to live in France. Okay, if and you can't live in France. <laughs> no, but no, truly, like I, I, I moved to France for six months, and I started dreaming in French. Mm -hmm. And it was one of the most what? beautiful moments when I woke up, and I thought, wow, I truly understand. Uh, that said, I am very out of practice and it takes some good french wine to really get that accent mm -hmm. i took control. french in college and i, I remember took, wait, 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 wait i can top that i took three years of high school french <laughs> and we and were only i have you know what i did youtube french i try <laughs> i try and speak spanish 
but I just say French words and try and make them sound Spanish, which I think a lot of people do when they try and speak another right, language. Yes. Or say Engl yeah. Engl English words and try to make them sound French. Oh my gosh, that's terrible. <laughs> you know okay. what I say? Road trip to France. That's what I got. Well, what are you, okay. you hiding So, from I cannot sing, I cannot dance. Yes, not, none of that. But I can pick up on your habits and I can start talking like you, and I can start moving. So you're an impersonator. Yes. I can impersonate people. Okay. That is true. All the time. That is true. Yes. Yes. Right, right now, right now. I can't do it right now, but it's usually I can't do it. Okay, Stacy. Stacy, right now. Well, Stacy, I have to be moving because Stacy has, Stacy is different, but it, you have to have something about you. If you have a way you walk or you do something, you're I can. an observer. Yes, I can pick it up on Detail. it. Madison? Okay, so, so mine, I grew up in a military family, so mine is, um, I can call Cadence and March, a battalion. Okay, we'll take those marching orders and come back after this break. More every white woman. You can do what? I can march a whole battalion. <laughs> that is insane. <laughs> I was like, that was a good one. That That's have been. Are you in every way woman? Coming up next, more every way woman. Are you an every way woman? Part of being an every way woman is being able to do it yourself. We've got our favorite DIY expert, Yelena, with us today. She's showing us how to make some little wall art. As you can tell, you did the wall art all over our set. So let's show our audience how you can make something like this at home. Well, this is just a foam piece. So as you can see, it's just something that you could buy at an arts and crafts store. And then- a It's a little harder than styrofoam, right? It's a little bit harder than just a typical styrofoam. They have the different grades of styrofoam. So this one's just a little bit thicker. I recommend maybe the thicker one, but you can use a thinner one as well. What's great about this is that it's easy to hang. Exactly. You don't even have to have a nail. In fact, we just glued it to our wall. Well, you can glue it, or if you do put it in a nail, uh, you don't even have to worry about hanging it proper because it sticks in wherever you put in that nail so it's always going to hang nice and straight for you. Perfect, perfect. Yeah. So then how did you create this look? Well what I did is I just simply painted the styrofoam which it absorbs pretty nicely. Just did two layers and you can find this paint for maybe two, three dollars. Is this spray paint? This is just a uh, paint that you just paint on with a paint brush. Oh okay. Which I got at the Oops uh, area over at um, Home Depot. Oh, so great very little tip. How to mm -hmm. find some paint on the so cheek. So you can get a nice little point for about three, four, maybe five dollars of any kind of color. And That's an oops happy nice. accident. Exactly. So then what else I did is I got some fabric, which you can find, again, inexpensive or just old clothes you could tear up depending on the size of what you're doing. And you can just simply idea. glue it to the styrofoam piece. So, and then you could glue the edges, or you could just simply take some pins and pin it to the edges as well. You're so, so inspiring. <laughs> I bet you have the coolest house. Well, I, uh, my house is definitely a do-it-yourself house, for sure. <laughs> and our set is definitely a do-it-yourself kind of exactly. set. Exactly. Every way woman can do this. So. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. <laughs> for more great DIY tips, check out everywaywoman.com. Every Way Woman is breaking out, and our goal is to keep you informed no matter where you are or where you end up. Welcome back to Every Way Woman. So if we had a crystal ball, where would we be? I'm wondering, what's next for Every Way Woman, Madison? The world. The, the world. world is in our hands, and it's going to be better off for it. <laughs> I so agree. prophetic. I know, right? Yeah. It's, but uh, I do agree. I think that Every Way Woman has so many possibilities. Mm -hmm. And when we sit down, we talk about what can we go and what can we do and who can we reach. We want to reach everybody. I mean, mm -hmm. our show is built to be national and international. It's built to be taken out of the studio. Yes, Absolutely. it is. And you're a queen of nonprofit. I mean, you do so many speaking engagements. For me, I mean, of course, it's, it's, it's getting to the top. But for me, it's more touching lives. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, the whole incident with Starbucks, I, you know, I would love to have more, you know, to right. be able to touch more lives, to, for another, to the next person hope. to say, yeah. to tell me, you know, Absolutely. you gave me hope. Absolutely. It's if there beautiful. was an Everway Woman in Dubai, that would be amazing. If we could have a, a, a show from there, because a lot of mm -hmm. people internationally move there, a lot of people from Sweden, Germany, um, you have the Arab cultures there. there it's, it's really a different kind of melting pot. Mm -hmm. And so they're dealing with all different other kinds of, of um, issues when it comes to socializing with each other and being 
what people say tolerant and that word bothers me, but being tolerant of each other and each other's differences. Well, we have the opportunity to go beyond Southern California and reach out and reach into the lives of, you know, the places we grew up. I grew up in the Midwest. Mm -hmm. I want to go I want to go back there. I want to go to Chicago and my hometowns and really connect mm -hmm. with those people and it's such a great opportunity to give them a face. It's a funny voice. you yes. mentioned Midwest because it was one of the things when we actually put in consideration that our show, when we was talking about the yeah. creating the show, it the show is really built for middle America. And I'm from middle America. We love you middle America. I know. <laughs> Illinois. And but you know, the opportunities are great, but we I can see us in workshops and networking events. Mm -hmm. Our green room comes alive. You should see the people yeah. networking in the green room. Mm -hmm. And it's great. It's because they're, they're, they see opportunity. They meet other like-minded women, and they just go crazy Well, and in that's there. interesting and you say like-minded women, because every way woman mm -hmm. isn't just the name of a show. Mm -hmm. It's a lifestyle. It's yes. being an mm -hmm. every and way woman. And one of the things that's really important to us is that, that we participate and give back to our community. Mm -hmm. And, and this is one type of community that we live in here in Los Angeles, but there are many different types of communities that have different needs and they have different hearts and they move with a different rhythm. And we wanna be able to reach out to all of those different, like a, a symphony coming together, right? You've got the drum, it makes a sound, it has its own and beat and you together. mix it. Well, you know, it, it's been beautiful because um, for the past two holiday seasons, Every Way Woman has adopted several families and we went downtown Los Angeles and we wrapped the presents and we packed them and we hung ornaments on their Christmas trees. And you know, we, we shopped for the children and it was such a beautiful thing mm -hmm. because you know, I, I got her name and her age and all she wanted was Hello Kitty. Mm -hmm. And we, we really had just been blessed with the opportunity to mm -hmm. you know, bring hope and yeah. I'm, I'm so excited to be able to be a part of a platform that, that can really do that. Yes, that, that shows the community that we care about. Them. Yeah, it, 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 it's, it, it does make you want to cry because when I think about, I remember when we did that, and then we also did the makeup bags for the girls at the orphanage. And when she told us, she's like, oh, the teenage girls, this is what they need. Because everyone forgets about the teenagers. And it's really how we, be, um, then she told me about the teen boys, and no one thinks about the teen boys. And it, they it, need, yeah, you know, so they and, do. And, please can we have some, some socks or some underwear? Some socks or some underwear anything. and the undergarments. And yes. when we really and, realized and that's how it, it came it's beyond about. toys, it's basic right. needs that we're pro providing. Cool. But that, that, is, that is where, where, I, where I envision everywhere, every way woman ending up everywhere. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, getting the women in that community to be involved in their community. Um, because I think that's become a lost art as well. As we move into technology, we become more isolated. And, I'm sorry, Ellen, go ahead. No, 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 go ahead. Um, so we become isolated with technology and sometimes we forget that it actually takes the hand to, to I'm sorry. You women are gonna make me <laughs> all know, here too. Another thing is that we, our main goal with creating Every Way Woman was to get other women voices. We have voice. We have a voice here in the United States, whether we like it or not. And there are other women around the, around the world that do not have the voice that right. we have, it's, yeah. and, and they know, can and stand and up that, that's for themselves. So personal to me because yeah. my sister-in-law um, is, you know, from the Middle East, and she moved here, and she got a voice, and our family was able to, you know give that to her and help, and help protect her in that mm -hmm. and that's such a blessing that we have in america yeah. and yeah. being and being for me latina you know being able to touch other people's lives and so on, you tell them yeah you can do it too yeah. you know look yeah. look at me like yes. you can do it and your Don't voice hope. is really important because the latino woman is she's she's still catching up a little bit you know what i mean because you know, we had to, okay, now the black woman is, you know, mm -hmm. she's caught up. Because sometimes our culture, you know, can keep us down. You know, I don't think it, yeah. it's a matter of even just the black woman or the Latino woman. It's all women. And, Sharing our yeah, story. And, and yeah, and bringing all women up regardless right. of, you know, the age or race or socioeconomic mm -hmm. background. Yeah. We want to celebrate you, and we're going to continue to do that in the future in every way possible with every white woman. Stay tuned. And you know what? Every Way Woman gives back to the community. Go to everywaywoman.com to find out how you can match our donations of undergarments for needy kids. Thanks for getting to know Every Way Woman. This has been an Every Way Woman production. Woman, 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 in every way, yeah.